Happening today, the first steps toward transforming an old prison into a new resource. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at the former Hazelwood State Prison in Haywood County. And Vic, today brings big changes for that old prison. Absolutely, they're going to transform it into a new resource, a bridge, if you will, for people in the community who need a little extra support. It's going to be a new sh homeless shelter, it's going to be a soup kitchen, it's going to be a halfway house, and it's part of the brainchild that has come together from the folks at the homeless shelter, a soup kitchen that was already in existence, and Pastor Nick Honerkamp is one of the folks who helped make this happen. Today, we're breaking ground a little bit more. I see you've done a little bit of work so far, but what's going to happen today and what is the goal? Today, we have 700 volunteers from all over Haywood County that are coming together. We're going to start construction on a new bathroom. Ty Pennington's going to be out here this morning so everybody can come out and see him. But our job today is just to get the community involved and let them get some equity in this project. Now the supplies started showing up yesterday and piling up outside the site. You folks are ready to roll. This is real deal. This is a major project. What is the biggest challenge that you're going to be undertaking here? Probably just making sure everybody stays safe, everybody has a good time, and everybody feels like they have made uh, this project happen. We're getting ready to flip a prison today, and we're excited about our whole community being out here and participating with us. Now, you could not have flipped this prison without the help of the community at this point so far. Tell us about how you got the major grant from Guaranteed Rate and got Ty Pennington in on this project. Truly, one of the first things that we uh, were awarded was the grant through Guaranteed Rate, and it allowed us to get awareness out to our community. People were able to be a part of it, to, to vote and to share. And so we went all three rounds and we won that project. And since then, everybody's been excited about seeing Ty and being part of the construction process. Well, you know it's going to be an amazing process here. And you know what the ultimate goal is, to have this open by November 1st, serving people in the community, hundreds of people who will need help. And guess what? Everyone has been on board yep. with this and the community's loving this. And you get a chance to do a couple more things. Go to our website, WLOS.com, click on news links, and you can find out how you can buy a ticket, get a hard hat, and walk in here while Ty and his crew are working all day long. And if that wasn't enough, you can actually have dinner with Ty. There are two seatings tonight at the Chef's Table, downtown Waynesville. Tickets for all of this on sale at the website when you go to news links at WLOS.com. Coming up, more details about what's going to happen and the ultimate goal of changing lives right here in Haywood County. Live in Haywood County, Victoria Duckle, News 13. Hundreds of volunteers are starting the major overhaul of a former prison. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live in Haywood County. And Victoria, today we're going to see some star power pour into Haywood County's Pathway Center. Absolutely. Ty Pennington and the team from Guaranteed Rate, who happened to provide $50,000 toward this project, are going to be here today to meet up with the local leaders who made this happen. We're standing in what used to be the prison here. Now, this winning the contest really put the prep work into place. We have a little bit of video I want to show you, and then uh, I'm going to talk to the person who had this idea. We are talking to Sheriff Greg Christopher of Haywood County. You actually came up with the idea or saw this need because of what? Because of the recidivism rate that I saw whenever that I became the sheriff, uh, as much as 80%. And that's people who came through the system for whatever reason, served their time, went back out, and then came back in under a new arrest. Yes, that is correct. Okay, so back out here live. We are in what used to be the dormitory of the old Hazelwood State Prison, right? Yes, that is correct. This and is what will this be? Uh, th this will be the living quarters for uh, so many of these people that need help. So this is part of the homeless shelter aspect of it. There's also going to be a soup kitchen, and there is going to be a halfway house element to it. Yes, a, a rehabilitation. And let's go over here. What else is? The, what's this room going to be? Okay, this room here will be for when the uh, when our residents, when our clients come in. This will be a sitting room. Also, there will be uh, petitions here for them to have space to be able to learn computer uh, work as well as applications for job and uh, we have Haywood Community College who's coming in to help us and it's going to be uh, just another opportunity basically for an educational uh, time for them. So that they can have the skills they need when they're ready to take the next step. Absolutely. All right, you want to take the next step to help this out because this is a community-wide effort. What you can do is get in on a chance to get a hard hat ticket and come out on the site today while Ty is here. Watch him at work with the great volunteers. Or you can have dinner with Ty. There are two seatings, all the details at newslinks at WLOS.com. Head over there, get your ticket. And coming up, I'm going to be talking with Ty and some of the other folks who are making this project a reality. Reporting live in Haywood County. Victoria Dunkel, News 13. Happening today, work to flip a prison begins. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at what will become Haywood Pathway Center. And Vic, a familiar face is helping you out. 
Absolutely. We are here in this center. It used to be a state prison years ago. Now it's going to be a bridge to a new future for so many people. And it's happening thanks to a contest that involved Ty Pennington here. Yes. You worked with Guaranteed Rate and the folks here who had this project in mind applied to be part of this. How did we get to this point to get you here this morning? Well, this is just a really cool project. And uh, I mean, you know, big shout out to Guaranteed Rates for, for really starting a, what it's called the Neighborhood Give Back Challenge, which, you know, we've got people from all over the nation with really amazing ideas about doing really positive things in their community. And people started voting on it. And and uh, I have to say with uh, the Haywood Pathway Center, finding out what they wanted to do, so many votes came in. And when you realize just how amazingly cool this project is, it's a converted old prison into something that can be so positive in the community, which is, you know, a homeless shelter, a soup kitchen, uh, you know, a halfway house to help people get back on their feet, to get their confidence back and to, and to get back out and start feeling good about themselves and like what you see right here is just the beginning well that's just it this is just the beginning today right. we've, we've kind of gotten ourselves here at the starting point yeah where does it go from here today what are you going to be doing out here on site well i'm, I'm actually going to be framing up uh some bathrooms today which is great which they poured the footer for right yeah, behind us yeah footer, so we're framing <laughs> some walls but uh hopefully we're going to get a lot of volunteers we, we know that i think i think close to 700 people have already signed up mm -hmm. but we would love to get as many people to come out and, and, and help as possible because this really is something that's going to add uh it's going to be a great thing for the community it's a good thing to be part of um and it really is a place where people i mean look we all go through hard times in our lives and this is the kind of place that you go to to really start again and that's uh to be able to take an old establishment like a prison that hasn't been used but has mm -hmm. still got the structural integrity, the vision that these guys have had to turn it into something positive, I think with Guaranteed Rate teaming up with these guys to make sure that we gave them some exposure uh, to really get the word out, and now it's just up to the community to see if they'll come out. So we'd love your help. Come on out. It's uh, it's going to be an awesome thing. It is going to be an awesome thing. And you know what? You have the chance to get on a hard hat, come out here, and see what's going on. You can get a ticket to watch Ty at work with the other volunteers or have dinner with Ty tonight, too. All That's the details right. at newslinks at WLOS.com. Coming up in our next half hour. And smell gonna... my armpits because they're going to be amazing by dinner. That's really, going to be. Yeah, ooh, boy, you just really nailed that sales pitch <laughs> right there. <laughs> Hey, it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity right here live in Haywood County, Victoria, <laughs> Dunkel News 13. <laughs> Happening today, a prison flipping project is about to start. News 13's Victoria Dunkel is live at the former Hazelwood State Prison, and Vic, this project got a big boost from an online contest. It did. That contest brought $50,000 to the project here and really got it a jump start. And it also brought Ty Pennington here this morning. Yes. You are part of, tell us about the contest that got the money here. Well, the contest was the Guaranteed Rates uh, Ultimate Neighborhood Give Back Challenge, which I think is an incredible thing, which we had all kinds of uh, um, projects from all over the country, you know, be part of the contest. And we started seeing a lot of the votes coming in. What was really amazing is, is the Haywood, you know, Pathway Center was getting so many votes. And then when you realized how incredible this project really is and, and, the, and the vision of what it could become, mm -hmm. then you realize... I don't know, I'm just really excited for them because they won, but it's also, I think it really shows you like, I've never really thought of flipping a prison and turning it into something really positive in the community. And I think that uh, that's just a great vision. And I think to be able to, to house a place where you're really gonna get people back on their feet, you're really gonna be able to give them not only shelter, but a place to really reinvent themselves and mm -hmm. to, to believe in themselves again. But it's not just about the structure itself. It really does take the community to keep it going. So that's what's gonna be great about today. I mean, we're gonna have volunteers come in. We'd love your help, but it's also about keeping the place going and, and, and making sure that, you know, it uh, it's a thriving piece of the community. Now we're standing in front of the area where you're going to be working today. Yeah, we'll be framing up the bathroom today, which okay. is good because we'll probably all have to go at some time. So hopefully we'll get some walls up, which would be great. <laughs> that would be very helpful because, you know, that is a key yeah, part you know, of a bathroom. I got this. I've got the walls today. Oh, thank the goodness. The bathroom's all me. And I understand you're actually inviting some folks to come on, put on a hard hat and yeah. watch you work. Please. And it's yeah, a, yeah. you can buy a ticket for that. You can also yes. buy a ticket for dinner with Ty. That's right. We'll so you got to eat tonight. Got to eat. I will actually have dinner with you. Um, it's great because when I eat, I actually store a bunch of food back in my cheeks, much like a squirrel. So just because I get hungry later, so that would be fun. That's how you've been energizing yourself all morning, yeah, huh? Yeah, exactly. It's got a little morsel back there. Hey, Ty, one other thing <laughs> for you. If someone's watching and wonders what's the best thing about this project, what is the best thing about it? I think the best thing about this project um, is that it came out of, uh, it really came out of someone's heart about giving back. And I think they saw a real need uh, about people who, who may have a tough time sort of going in and out, uh, uh, just not being able to get a fresh start with their life and believing in themselves, and then realizing we have this this structure, we have this place, why not convert it into something that really can create the change? Um, and it takes, it. that's, in my experience, 
you know, it, it takes one idea mm -hmm. of somebody really believing in something, and then all of a sudden you realize other people are believing in it with you, and that's exactly what's happened here. And, and so Ty's now, believing in this. Right. You have been believing in it so far, but there's so much more that we can do as we continue. It's day one of the project. The goal is to have it ready by November 1st, but that's just one more step that's in this right. challenge. So find out all the details when you go to newslinks at WLOS.com and make a difference and be part of this great bridge to a brighter future for so many. Reporting live in Haywood County, Victoria Dunkel, News 13.